lesson we're going to talk about lead changes and this is one of those subjects that a lot of trainers don't let their kids uh, practice um, very much because it can be very um, easy to teach your horses very very bad habits um, that are very hard to break then at that point. Um, before you uh, even attempt to try to teach a new horse uh, lead changes if they've never done them before your horse really needs to be um, very well broke on the flat um, and they should be able to hopefully be able to do shoulder ends, haunches ends, leg yields, um, be able to bend and counter bend and basically be you know pretty responsive to your leg aids and your hand aids. Um, what you're going to find is that balance is the key and being very patient as well. Uh, we're going to practice lead changes on a couple horses. Um, one thing to keep in mind is lead changes isn't something that you should practice every day because it'll make your horse anticipate and they might start getting jumpy or quick. You also don't want to be uh, trying to teach a horse lead changes if you're not uh, pro a proficient rider yourself on the flat uh, because running and trying to kick them into a lead change is just going to teach them to be afraid of it. So, like I said, if you have a very um, balanced horse, um, a broke horse, then lead changes should come pretty naturally. Um, there are some horses that um, will have difficulty changing behind, um, perhaps because of uh, their hocks might be a little stiff, uh, maybe because of their conformation, and you know sometimes that's just the way way they are. And one thing I can recommend, if you have a horse that is either late behind or, uh, or just can't seem to get that um, that final swap behind, is to try uh, legend inject injections once a month. And um, I've had a lot of success with Legend. Once you put it on, give it a, a couple months, see if it has any effect on your horse to get the lead changes because sometimes it gives them just enough more movement uh, in their hocks that they can bring that leg up and, and get the switch. Um, so other than that, um, I guess what we'll do is uh, talk about the basics of lead changes. Um, when you're going into lead changes and you're first attempting to try lead changes on a horse, um, always make sure you can do simple changes first and get your horse um, prepped and anticipating lead changes by practicing simple changes. So what you want to try to do is make sure your horses are very good at simple changes so that they you can get to where you, you break to the trot and there's just a couple steps and then they get right onto the next lead. And so then they're figuring out, okay, if I'm going towards my rail and I straighten up, I change the bend, I come back to a trot, and I change. They pick up that canter. And then they learn to, to think about lead changes in a relaxed way. Instead of being galloped and run into one, they think, oh, I have to slow down, balance myself. I'm going to break the trot and get my simple. So go ahead and canter. We'll go ahead and get this one just demonstrating a simple change. Okay, she's going to first, uh, this one does lead changes very easy. So she's going to have to slow and change. Good. And if you notice when she slowed, she made sure to change the bend, and then she asked for the um, next lead change, or the, the next lead. And remember, your aids are, are exactly the same as when you're just picking up a lead. When you pick up your right lead, you have your outside leg behind, which would be your left leg, behind the girth a little bit. You're balancing them up, maybe a little inside hand, and you're not leaning in, okay? Because if you're leaning in, they can't pick up that lead. So she gets her right lead, she comes around, she brings them back to a trot. She changes the bend. So she's pushing with her inside leg and hand. She's not going to lean in. Because if you're leaning on this leg, how are they going to pick it up? She's, if anything, her hip is going to go to the outside, her right leg behind the girth, and pick up the left leg. So now we're going to go ahead and do lead changes both ways. So why don't we go ahead and show you. Um, once you have your horse where you've practiced your, your, um, your simple changes, um, you know, from right to left, then the next thing you might want to try doing is cantering over a pull uh, and asking for the lead change. And the reason we do that is it helps rock the horse back and sets them up. She's going to come across on her right oh. lead. She's going to find her distance to the pole. Right, but she's going to straighten the horse up, find the distance, and over the pole, she's going to change her balance and ask for the left lead. There we go. As you can see as the horse found that distance, as she found her distance, she got to the pole right at the takeoff spot. When she went to go over the pole, her right leg went behind the girth, she changed the bend and the horse 
change his leaf. Okay, so poles are a helpful exercise, but if you're not good at finding your spot to pull, not so helpful, because then you're just going to frazzle the horse. Okay, so now we're just going to have her do a lead change. Now, before, before she goes, lead changes a lot of times you might think you're going to take your horse to the corner and turn it real sharp. And that's not the way to get a lead change. I know that a lot of horses can do that, but when you think about it, if I'm cantering on my right lead and then I throw my weight off to the left, they're over here and you want them to lift their left lead, but you're putting all your weight there. Okay? That's wrong. It's better to teach your horse to do it in a straight line where they have their right lead. Okay, you're setting them up. You're going to change the bend, and then you're going to change your cue. So a little bump with the outside leg, and you're going to shift your hip to the outside and give them a chance to lift the left leg and change the lead. Okay. Now, you saw she did that in a straight line as soon as, and this horse is conditioned enough that as soon as she changed the band, he knew exactly what was coming. So he's very well balanced, he's very conditioned, and we're going to show you lead changes on um, a greener horse, a little pony here, in a little bit with a less experienced rider. So we're going to go left to right, same thing, just change your cues. She's going to have her left lead, come along, she's going to shift her weight to the left, put her left leg behind the girth, and ask for the right lead, okay? And a shift. And you can see this horse gets the perfect lead chain front and back, never, never leaves it behind. So now we're going to move on to a less experienced rider with a less experienced pony so you can see the difference. Okay, so now we have a little pony and a little young rider, and she's going to demonstrate the simple change first. So she's moving kind of slow, but she's got a good position. She's riding softly. She's coming across her diagonal. She's going to bring it back gently and change. Stay sitting tall. So now she's going to go and do a simple change from left to right. Not too fast. Trot and right lead. Very good. And you see that she even set her pony up with the new the bend to the right so he'd get the correct lead. Okay, so now I wanted to ask for a, a, a lead change, okay? Now remember with the flying lead change, if your horse is going too slow, they might switch, they might not, or they might just switch in front because they don't have they don't have enough um, oomph with them to get back on their haunches and change. So now she's got to gallop a little more and kick with their right leg. Kick. There it is. Keep cantering. And you're going to ask for one the other way. Straighten them up and change. Oops, you got to pull back a little and change. There we go. Good. Okay. So what you saw there was when she went from right to left, she had, you know, a fair amount of pace. The pony's a lot better from right to left than left to right. So if, even though it wasn't a great pace, she came through, she kept him straight, and right as he was straight, she changes the bend, she bumps him with his, her right leg, and voila, he gets his lead changed front and back. When she came around through here, okay, she had a hard time kind of straightening him up. So she never really got him to change the bend. So when she tried to kick, she was kind of ineffective because he was just straight and didn't know what she wanted. So instead of getting mad and kicking or whipping, okay, the better thing to do is go, whoa, go back to your simple, get your right lead change. That way you don't teach them, oh, I'm going to a corner, I'm going to run real fast, be scared, and try to get a lead change. That's the single biggest mistake people make when they're trying to teach their horses lead changes. They think they're going to get mad because they're not getting it. So they run them, they whip them, they turn real hard, and so every time that horse goes to a corner, they're going to get frazzled, and then that's a really hard thing to break. Okay, that's when you have to start all over, go back to your simple changes, and don't practice lead changes for a long time. Um, so this pony, one thing I will tell you is when you're doing lead changes, um, especially on uh, ponies, um, what you'll find is if a horse doesn't have enough pace, you know, even just doing lead changes on the flat is a hard thing to do because there's not much to work with. But you'll find if she was jumping at a horse show, jumping around a course, and she has her little pony pace and he's galloping around, chances are he's just got it, okay, especially if he's um, had any kind of mileage put on him. So that's all we're going to talk about today as far as lead changes. Just remember, you don't over-practice. 
If your horse starts getting frazzled, take it back. Just do simple changes. Don't do it every day. When they do it well, maybe just do one or two. You don't have to do 10 every time you practice a lead change. Do a couple, pat them, tell them it's great. You start slow, you, you go to horse shows, you get more mileage, and before you know it, they're automatic anyways. So please be careful. Again, not something your trainers want you to practice um, or even attempt unless you have permission, but if you're on your own, hopefully this will be helpful for you. Um, it is a tricky thing uh, to be able to teach. It takes a little bit of finesse and a lot of patience. Um, remember they're animals and you're trying to give positive reinforcement rather than scaring them into something that they can't do um, or may not be able to do. All right, so good luck with those lead changes. Be careful and be kind to your horses.